What's your name, love? My name's Abby. Abby? Hello, my name is uh, Corey. Corey. <laughs> Hi, I'm Katrina. Hi, baby. And this is Samuel. Hi, Samuel. Hi, I'm Brandon. Hi, I'm Sean. All right, and this is the Saving Grass. Superman family that we're wonderfully happy to work with. So, tell us a little bit about uh, Saving Superman. This is Saving Superman Sam. He was born August 24, 2010. He was born with what is called congenital nephrotic syndrome, the Finnish type. It's a rare kidney disease that he was born with. It's a defect in the nephrine in his kidneys. It means he doesn't have a filter in there. One day he will need a kidney transplant. In the meantime, he takes tons of medication and seeks the doctors there in Corpus. And so we drive down there once a month to get all of his treatments done. And if he ever needs to be inpatient in the hospital or anything, he's life flighted out of San Antonio uh, all the way to Corpus. So we know obviously it's, it's, it's rough when you have a, a sick kid and we will, can't wait to help you guys out. Um, so we know obviously medications cost a lot, people with, without the insurance, I know. Definitely my father's sick, so I feel for you guys. Um, is there a lot known about his There's disease? not. It's, uh, a disease that only happens usually over in Finland. It's uh, one in four once your family's been diagnosed with it. You have a one in four chance of having another child being diagnosed with it, so we chose not to have any more children. Um, it's very rare. It's so rare that there's only, uh, I think, about five kids in the state of Texas right now battling this disease, and I think there's only 12 in the United States. What are the main problems aside from obviously financial things that maybe get in the way? Is it time and is it Finding it's doctors. Time off work. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no doctors here in San Antonio that will no, take Corpus. his case, so we go all to Corpus to get all of his medication, med um, all of his uh, medical needs taken care of. He doesn't have an immune system, so with that being said, he picks up all kinds of infections from everybody. He's had everything from chicken pox to all kinds of different diseases. He's yeah. been super sick most of the time of his life. He spent more time in the hospital than he has at home. Mm -hmm. So we just we take each day as we can and we live it to the best of our ability and. We just try to make sure that we make each day last. What are some of what are some of his his and y'all's favorite things to do? Because obviously you got to stay busy and stay positive, which I think is awesome. That your family bonds together with the obviously Superman shirts and you know that's cool. Yeah. So what do y'all what do y'all do to you know, keep upbeat? We like to we like to just spend time with the kids, whether it's taking them just out for pizza or whether it's taking them downtown to the Riverwalk or the Children's Museum or you know just whatever we can try to find time to do. But the cheaper the better, so we try to look on Groupon and try to find different things that we can do as far as that goes. Because with a family of six, it's expensive anyway. Yeah, definitely. We try to squeeze in medications and travel all the way to Corpus and back, and you don't know how many times in a month you're going to have to do that. Yeah, so you just kind of have to put it all into a, a ballpark and try to figure it out. But gotcha. we make it stay the best we can. So. That's awesome. Well, we definitely hope to inspire people to come out and be heroes um, with SciFest. Just spreading the word and getting the word out about his kidney disease or just mm -hmm. kidney disease in general. If we could just save another life from being diagnosed because they told us when he was born that he would make it past a year old. How old is he now? He's two and a half. <laughs> and so to see him sitting here thriving mm -hmm. and he hasn't had a kidney transplant or anything like that yet, it's just, you know, it's a miracle in itself. And so we just... <laughs> We would like to get the word out just about his disease and you know, he wasn't diagnosed at birth, he was diagnosed after birth and mm -hmm. he was almost two and a half months when he was finally oh, diagnosed and we were sitting at, you know, the same weight, the same well, he's trying. He definitely to thrive and you know, we were basically on our deathbed and just thought we weren't gonna make it. So this is Clark Kent with Superman. Say hi. Hi. Say hi Sam. That's Super Sam right there with Clark Kent. Let's get up, Pat. Let me see, Kent. The Super Sam, we're hoping to give him and his family a little bit of a break and be heroes for them because they're heroes every day for this little dude right here. Right, sweet pea? Sam. 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 Sam, look at the camera. Look, Super Sam. Look. He's Super interested Sam. in what the boys are doing down there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> He's cute. Well, thank you for coming out. And I, we got the photo shoot. We have the commercial coming up. And definitely spread the word and get everything we can. So I'll get all those links linked up. Okay. Um, anything we can do and anything you need let us know so is there anything in particular you guys need or he likes that people can bring to you and your family he loves Lightning McQueen he loves Thomas the Tank Engine construction vehicles and for, <laughs> for all sakes he loves Superman so gotcha he is definitely a superhero right there yeah say bye bye <laughs>